Pedro here with another video and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pedro M and I do Shopify dropshipping. Um, so today we're going to be going over what is Oberlo and how Oberlo is going to help you run your business. So if it's your first time here guys and you have never or you're starting out how to get started with Shopify and you're still trying to figure things out, that's pretty much what I'm creating my um, channel around people that are just beginning people are just starting people that want to learn how to build an online business so a little bit about myself I actually uh, started Shopify dropshipping about two years ago um, and it's been a long journey I'll tell you that um, it's not easy it's not something that happens overnight it does take time it does take hard work it does take dedication it does take persistence but good news is it is rewarding and if you put in the work you will see results guys you will see results so with that being said let's get started with this video um, if you haven't already hit that like button below and subscribe below guys because I post every single week um, every Friday I will be posting videos and every I'm trying to possibly every Monday so I'm gonna try twice a week um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing so today we're going to be going over Oberlo and just kind of the basics and how Oberlo um, functions with your Shopify store. So let's get started. Um, so as you can see, this is kind of the main page, the dashboard of Oberlo. Oberlo is essentially um, the middle bridge between your store and your supplier. So Oberlo is that bridge where you import the products into it and then you edit them, you add the pictures, you do the descriptions, you do everything else in there, okay? Um, and then you import from your Oberlo into your Shopify store. So from your supplier, straight to Oberlo, Oberlo edit, do all the, all the final touches, then import it to your store directly. So um, the nice thing about Oberlo too, which I really like, is that they actually have videos too and they explain everything step by step. So create and connect your store, add your first product right here, go live, and then make your first sale. They have tips, guys. Like they have everything here that you need in order to be able to get your business going. So if you go further down, they have how dropshipping works with Oberlo, how to search products on Oberlo, how to search products on AliExpress. Um, obviously, um, if you want to import products, um, you have to connect it to your suppliers via if that's DHgate or if it, you're going to be doing with AliExpress. I typically do it with AliExpress. Um, I do like DHgate as well because of shipping times. Um, you got to always watch out what products you're going to be using for your store. Um, so keep that in mind. Going over here to this tab here, guys, this is kind of you got your dashboard, manage your products, search certain products, import list my products, um, and managing your orders, etc. Those are the main main tabs you're going to usually use the most, okay? Um, this is just kind of inbox. It's just kind of overload information, stuff like that, um, and then settings. And then obviously just connect your store here. But um, let's head on over to manage products. Um, <clears throat> Typically here, Oberlo has its own kind of store, which is kind of cool. Um, some of their products are actually pretty good. Um, so you can actually import products from Oberlo itself that, uh, you know, are, are, are good quality as well. Um, AliExpress has some pretty good stuff too. Um, so Oberlo um, is able to, uh, you know, provide you with products that might... Uh, might be potential winners, might be good uh, good sellers. So uh, same thing. There's categories here, guys. You choose what you want. There's a bunch of lists, everything, all types of niches, everything. You can also search for products. You could search necklace. Um, there's just a variety of products. There's everything that you can ever imagine. Um, so there's just, like, you can just click on one, and then it goes to the actual product if it allows you here sorry my internet's horrible guys it's horrible that's what happens when you live in canada up north guys this is this is this is the true north problems we deal with on a daily basis gosh struggles real um but uh anyways so as you can see it shows here import add to import list then obviously an import list is what i was telling you guys is you add it then you edit it 
choose the pictures you want, choose everything else, and then import it to your store. Very, very straightforward, guys. Um, another thing to keep in mind, um, once you set up your, there's a group Google Chrome extension, okay, um, that um, allows you to connect your AliExpress to your Oberlo. So AliExpress, like I said, guys, is a, is a supplier, for those of you that don't know, um, it's a Chinese supplier. Um, there's a way, if you're wondering, how to connect all those products or products that you may find on AliExpress onto your store. So in order to do that, you have to first import those products from AliExpress to Oberlo. Once you import those products to Oberlo, you then edit it on Oberlo, do all the descriptions, change all the product uh, like listing names, um, change the pricing, do all that, all the, the main editing of your product page, and then you all you have to do is literally just import it to your store. Simple as that. But with that, in order to uh, import the products from AliExpress, you have to download um, a Google Chrome extension, which is called Oberlo um, Chrome extension, something like that. <clears throat> um, with that being said, um, so you could just add to import list, then it says added to list. So you, you go to the, your import list here. Obviously, I don't have any store connected, nothing like that. It, it should show up here. There you go. So then here you can actually change the title. You could put something like, okay, so this has all the, so you could just like, oh God, I don't even know. This is not a good example, but like here, metal glass iPhone case um, collection then typically on your store you, you there's a section which I'll, I'll show you guys in another video but there's a section where you can create collections so then here once it's our once overload is already connected to your store this is flawless guys this is an easy process all you got to do is just literally just select the collection so you can put like phone cases click on that boom once you import it here once this is all green and your store is imported it goes straight to that collection Without you having to, oh, I, it just added in a random list and then I got to manually add. No, it, it does it right away for you guys. So this is nice and simple. Um, type, you could just kind of categorize it into what it is. Description, this is kind of where you would type up your description, whatever it is. Keep it nice and simple, guys. Nice and clean, nice and professional. Um, always put in the highlights, put in what what your customers want, like what, uh, what the product is. Um, how that product is going to help solve their, their problem, give them a solution to their problem. Just keep it nice and simple, professional, clean. That's kind of basically it, guys. Don't just copy and paste a description from AliExpress. Do it your own. Make it unique. Um, kind of analyze it. Would you buy from that description? Would you buy from that product page? Would you buy from that store? Um, kind of ask yourself these questions. And if you don't know or you don't have any idea, go on um, Amazon. That's what I do sometimes. I go on Amazon, check out the listings, look at the same product, get some idea, brainstorm, get some ideas and brainstorm, guys. There's lots of lots of examples out there. So as you go into the variants, kind of here's what you name your variant. You can um, you can obviously like see the pricing, so costs, um, shipping methods. So it shows here for the states how much it would be, um, how long it would take. Um, obviously you got prices here. So this is the actual price that you're going to put it for. So here you can put, um, set new value and that will change it for all of these here. So if we put it, for example, this case, exactly. I already edited this. That's why it's all set 1999. It changes it to that, but let's put it for 2499 just so, so you guys can see that it does change. Um, so then once you change that, save successfully, the product is now 2499. You can see that our profit has gone up. So our profit right here, it actually tells you how much we're going to make for each case, which is $20.09. That's pretty good per case. We can also do a compare at price, which you can edit here as well and set a new value for all the different variants and case sizes. Um, but uh, yeah, and it would show up on your store, compare at regular price with a line, and then it would show you the selling price. All right. Going on to the images, guys, these are nice, high-quality images. Make sure you always select something that's really 
um, clean, simple, doesn't have any like um, any watermarks that are just, you know, Chinese or something like that. No offense to my Chinese friends or anything like that. But obviously, like nothing, you know what I mean, where it's just showing that, hey, this is from China. You want to make sure your your website looks professional, looks clean, right? Um, so these are really, really good images. It's obviously a little overwhelming. These are nice um, just because it actually displays the actual product. These kind of go through everything, signal smooth. It kind of shows you a little bit of everything here going on. Um, so these are really, really good high quality um, pictures. So all you got to do is just select them. Select the ones that you like. And all of these images are the ones that will be imported, the ones that you do select. So then once you're done, all you're going to do is you're going to go here into import to store. It should be a green button. Um, right now, obviously, my store is not connected, so um, it won't show. Um, but then that's pretty much it guys. It shows up to your store and then these are your my once you go over to my products here These are your actual products that are currently in your store that you can then edit remove etc, etc um, And then obviously once you start getting orders guys um, in this section here This is kind of where you're gonna manage them. You're gonna place the orders from here um, And it'll all show here. It'll show once it's fulfilled once it's already placed um, etc and then once your store starts getting some volume, once you start getting more traction, this here will change and it'll actually show you a diagram, like a graph of how much your profit, how much your expenses are and everything. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, I'm here to help guys. Um, and yeah, uh, I will be posting more videos. Like I said, I post weekly. Um, if you have any concerns or anything that you want to know comment it below guys i'm here to help you guys um so with that being said if if you guys enjoyed this video you found it valuable hit that thumbs up guys share comment i'd love to hear from you guys and uh i won't i'll uh, i'll see you guys till next week okay talk to you soon take care